It's a flying vehicle capable of delivering supplies and rescuing people in need. We've been developing this in the background for a while, and this was a really great um, forum for us to uh, test out and kind of push our aircraft to the limits. Adam Lang is captain of Lyft and UT Austin's team in the Go Aero competition. Someone is trapped on the roof of a building or something. We can deliver water or whatever medical supplies they might need if we are in contact with that person. Lyft is the designer of these. Hexa Aircraft. This March, we got a chance to take to the skies with Hexa over downtown Austin. Designed to skip traffic, they could play a vital role in search and rescue. These are aircraft that would take a first responder to someone in need. Go Aero CEO Gwen Leiter says the competition was founded to help people in remote areas, where it can take around 20 minutes for first responders to arrive. In the United States alone right now, on a perfect day when the sun is shining, over 5 million people live in ambulance deserts. Eight teams were chosen for stage two of the competition, receiving more than $300,000 in awards and a chance to work with aerospace experts. The next stage of the competition. It's a fly off is when we have all of the teams gather and fly through three missions. Those missions are productivity, adversity, and maneuverability. Pushing the vehicles to the extremes they'll have to face during an emergency. We've given a lot of people the opportunity to experience flight and have fun with it. Um, but we really want to use our technology um, that we've spent seven years developing to really help people as well. In Austin, Eric Henriksen, KXAN News.